In this video, we are going to learn how to find the arc length of an arc in a circle. So, suppose we have a circle and we want to figure out the length of this arc. Now, in the past, we talked about finding the measure of an arc, which would be a measurement in degrees, but you could also find the length of an arc which is its actual length in inches, centimeters, or whatever units you're working with. So if we knew that this central angle was 60 degrees and the radius of the circle was six centimeters, how could we figure out the arc length for this arc? Well, what you have to do is think about the arc as a portion of the total circumference. The circumference of this circle would be pi times the diameter. And since the radius is six, it means that the diameter all the way across would be 12. So the circumference of this circle is 12 pi centimeters. Now that would be all the way around the whole circle, but we only want that shaded in black portion right there. So how can we figure out that? Well, we have this 60 degree angle. And what that tells us is we only want 60 degrees out of the whole 360 degrees of the circle. So the 60 degrees tells us what portion or fraction of the circle that we're focusing on. So 60 out of 360 is one sixth of the whole circle. So what that means is we want one sixth of the whole circumference. So we can take our circumference of 12 pi and multiplied by 1 sixth. Our arc length will be exactly that. The full circumference, 12 pi, times 1 sixth, which is the fraction of the whole circle that that arc is. And that gives us 2 pi centimeters. The units for arc length will be centimeters because it's just a length. It's a one dimensional measurement. So the arc length for this particular arc is two pi centimeters. Now, how does this work in general? Suppose we have in general an arc right here. And what we know is an angle theta and a radius r. The arc length of that arc will be the circumference of the whole circle, which is two pi r. Remember that two times r gives us that diameter, so it's the same formula as before, times theta, the angle that we're given, over 360. Because this ratio right here was like what we did here to get the fraction of the circle that we're focusing on. So in general, how to find the arc length? You find the circumference of the whole circle, then figure out what fraction of the circle that you're focusing on, and multiply your circumference by the fraction of the circle that your arc is. And that formula is right here.